All right, so are you wondering what the movers and shakers are doing in town? Who's buying what? Who's renting what? Who's selling? Jen Gould Kyle covers these <laughs> issues for the New York Post, one of our friends. Here she is back on the set. How you doing? Great. What, so you. what's happening in town? Well, lots of things. We have in the East Village, Chloe Savigny, who we love, who's a style icon, has sold for this beautiful East Village one bedroom. It seems small, 1,200 square feet, but it's got a garden. It's been featured in House and Garden. And now, what she movie really was she in? She does HBO. She she got her start a long time ago as she's, a kid. She's like a fashion icon. I don't, she's you, great with right? style. Absolutely. I think she was in Last Days of Disco, which was uh, had a I great soundtrack. Well, great, great there? soundtrack. Are these pictures from inside? Yeah. So these were uh, featured. What I mean, I love it. She has this bookcase that nobody even does anymore. Kind of like a dollhouse, a little bit. Yeah. Little and it was very dainty. very English country, which is completely opposite her cool downtown. But she is English, I think. I She's met her once at a party. She seemed to have an English accent. Oh, I you actually met sat her beside once. her I did, at, actually. A, at Elaine's at some party once, I remember. But she, no, she's very, she has this very cool style. Yeah, I think she's so from Connecticut. Her, that makes more sense. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> how much is this apartment going for? This just sold for um, just under $2 million. Oh, nice. And and it was very low. One, one bedroom, but it's it comes with a garden. Nice. Comes I mean, with the garden. Yeah. Okay. You know. She was in kids in 1999. Yes, exactly. That's when she uh, made her I just her read mark. that thing on the on the screen. Yes. Okay. Well, that's how she made All it. All right. So what else is happening? So Erin Callen, you know, ex CFO of Lehman. She was a female face of the economic breakdown. Ooh. You know, the crisis in 2008. She was saying everything was great when it clearly wasn't. She was then living 3.75 million dollar home in East Hampton. This just sold. This house was absolutely gorgeous. Um, this is something else. This is Greenpoint, Brooklyn. That's also for sale for $3.75 million, which is kind of interesting. Oh, but Aaron's, that's not Aaron's house, That wasn't right? Aaron's house. Okay, that what was is Greenpoint, Can Brooklyn. we find Aaron's house? What does Aaron's house look somewhere. like? It's, it's, you know, it's this traditional East Hampton home, circular driveway, built in 1912, seven bedrooms, just a very classic estate. She was living there. She kind of withdrew from everything. This is it. So after she lost her job at Lehman, after the crisis, she kind of retreated here. She's never spoken publicly about Lehman. What she has spoken about recently was the Sheryl Sandberg lean in. What'd she say? She said, no, lean out. She said she focused so much on work that she missed her chance to have kids, which was Ooh. kind of sad. So she retreated. And now the big news is she's moving to Florida. And we're all wondering why. There's speculation. Is it because of lawsuits? Is she afraid? Will she be better protected? I don't know how it's going to help her. I think the guy who runs, who used to run Lehman, what's his name? Fooled? F-U-L-D? Yes. He lives Jeff in Florida. Gold. He's yeah. you know, embroiled. Will be for a long time. Absolutely. All right. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, so what so, was the other apartment we The other one, if you went on back Green to Street. it, what yeah. was really interesting, which was East Hampton, $3.75 million, this huge estate on two acres. And in Brooklyn, in Greenpoint, an area people don't even know unless you really live there, you're getting, you can buy a building for $3.75 million. Now, what would you rather do? You know, <laughs> that one has two apartments. They are great. They were done by a big designer, Eric Pfeiffer, who used to be a head of Ralph Lauren. And there's a really cool cafe on the basement. But it's just fascinating that an area like Greenpoint in Brooklyn is now asking prices that are the same basically as an East Hampton mansion. Oh, I know, but boy, you know it's, what? it's a little depressing. It's, it's really so sad. Expensive. I mean, if you're priced out of Brooklyn, where where are people going? I remember, like, when you grew up, like, and you wanted to move out, you would find an apartment in Brooklyn. Now you can't even go to Brooklyn. Yeah. I mean, where can you go? It's really it's really incredible. There are artists, everyone, they, they're leaving. That area, that area is a real hipster area, though, that Greenpoint it's area. It's hot. It's really hot. Anyway, oh, well. Well, good yeah. stuff. Do you like that show, Girls? They're yeah. always going through apartments in Brooklyn. They you know? are. They are. I have not watched it enough to talk about it. I really should. <laughs> Jen Gould, Kyle, thank you so much. Say hi to everybody at the Post, thank okay? You will do.